All right, here we are, and I've been wanting to uh, go over this idea here. Stay vigilant, my friend. Oh, as a, uh, uh, I am streaming uh, today, so streaming three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, so come and watch Alright, Speaker of the Heavens, three of those, two Conclave Mentors, could always throw in more if you'd like, uh, Muramasa Root Gazer, this one, this thing is crazy, it's an uncommon and you get to return land to your, to your hand or put land from your hand onto the battlefield, yeah, real nice. This is here. Not only to put vigilance counters on uh, things like this or anything else you want, but putting all those 1-1 one -one counters on each creature you control with vigilance. That works off of this. So does this very well. Um, she has vigilance, white creatures. You control attack, you gain one life. Vigilance, uh, at the beginning of your end step, you gain one life for each creature you control with Vigilance. Crystalline Giant, which gets Vigilance, Hexproof, Trample, Life Link at random. Uh, pop out a 2-2 two -two cat creature, or put a 1-1 one -one on each creature you control, which, yeah, works off of that, doubles them. You get two, just from a land. Um, Questing Beast has Vigilance already, so does this. And creatures you control with Vigilance have uh, pay one tap target creature. Very nice idea. I'm sure there's a better way to use a lot, utilize it. Um, there's, as you can see, I, this is all creatures, I think. Yeah, so there's better ways to utilize this. You don't have to go straight all creatures. I'm going to stop that, turn that alarm off, doesn't need to be on anymore. Yeah, we can go with this. Alright, Magic 57. I was trying to... Ah, yes. I think I'm going to make a Halloween deck. Um, my brain goes to complete brain fart. I'm going to make a vampire deck, so... Vigilance first strike? Yeah, I'll take that. That'll work out very nicely for me. I have to move this cat food. I have to watch one of these cats. Sorry about fluctuation volume there. Uh, one of these cats can't be having food with protein. We're testing something out. Might be an allergy. Keeps eating at his fur, basically. And this is a problem long before I met him.
not a bad little red-white deck. Mm -hmm. What we got here? They're all knights, aren't they? Cleric, knight, knight, knight. Alright. Yeah, I figured as much. Well, that doesn't make any sense then, actually, because that red-white... Uh, one red-white guy. It's warriors, not... Warriors, not knights. He gives 1-1 one, one to warriors. Not knights. Oh yeah, I could pop this land out here. Mm. It's keeping me from using my Speaker of the Heavens at the moment, or while well, attacking with it. Fireborn Knight. It's 1-1 one, one until end of turn. He keeps putting counters on it. That'll keep me from putting a 1-1 one, one counter on my creatures. Because I tapped on my white land. Oh. Okay. He quit. Um, Legitimately, that works out differently normally. But anytime I... Hit record. Speaking of which, let's make sure we're recording here. Okay. <laughs> Hockey's always worrying me. You're staring at a straight magic screen, and you hit the hotkeys, and you never know. It should work, but I always doubt stuff like that. Alright, so if you get the right creatures out here, you're gaining life, putting counters, you're gaining life at the end, at your end turn, each turn, um, getting counters, popping creatures back in your hand, and able to tap creatures as well. So, nice little triple whammy. When you start putting two counters at a time on Elder Gar Gargoth, Gargoth, very nice. Noob Mage, Noob Mage, Noob Mage. Do 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 new mage. This is fine. We'll do this first. Nobody's getting counters yet. That thing usually gets put away. Removed pretty quickly. I only have one mecha Godzilla. All right, so I'm not paying attention then. For some reason, I thought I had two. All right, four lands. Um, I don't want to do this first. Next turn, you pop out your Vigilance counter onto it. And I can attack. Because he can't kill either of my creatures. I can't kill his. Because he's got three defense. But I still get in two points of damage. Now, if I get another land, I'm going to put out Elder Gar Gargoth. Gar Gargoth. <laughs> Gargoth. Uh, I don't know why that's so hard. 
It's a 3-3. Three, three. It's got enough to kill any of my creatures now. Felidar Retreat. Now, is Retreat supposed to be somewhere peaceful, or is it supposed to be somewhere you, re you escape to? Because Retreat is, a, is an escape. Now, is that a positive connotation only, or negative as well? These are the kind of questions that keep me out of the good schools. Um, yeah, we're going to do this. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on everybody with Vigilance. Ooh, that's tempting, but nah. Ah, he's got Basiri, Basiri Cat out there. I'm in trouble. Oh, no, I'm really in trouble. Well, that's a problem. That's just rude. Aha. Uh -huh. Does that cost two? That costs three. Ugh. Well, maybe next turn. Maybe next turn. Oh, Vigilance. Oh, no blocker. Oh, Menace. Oh, Flying. I just saved my ass. Wow. So this is more of the... Uh, feel of this deck. And once I get this out there, I will get Vigilance Tramp or Counter on my Elf. No, Centaur. Looks like an Elf. I don't know why. Anybody ever tell you you, you look like a young Wilma Flintstone? Actually, that exists. Uh, Flintstone kids. You can't block me. Ha 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 ha. Said it before, I'll say it again. They are. My opponent is my victim. Doesn't matter if I win or lose, they're still a victim of having to play against my deck. So, take that how you will. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really glad that back or I'm playing back playing something that makes me uh, want to keep this channel going. And then with the addition of Twitch, you can follow me on Twitch in the description. Um. Looks like it's time for this. I could have put 1-1 one, one counters on everybody, but I don't need to. Because Mecha Gorilla is doing all the work for me. Ooh, and Hexproof? I'll take that. I think that's game. That's pretty much game right there. Let's 
that won't do me any good. There isn't any landfall out here. I'm like, let me put my land in my hand and then put it back. Which you can. With two of them, you definitely can. What are you going to do here? Okay. Actually, go right ahead and attack with your flyer. I don't mind. Nope, my turn. My turn, my turn. Talking about my turn. Boom. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. He does not have lifelink, so I'm just going to attack with everything. And draw a card. don't think that's going to help you, buddy. Maybe. There's still trample, and there's still more creatures than you can block. Unless you... That's four. That's eight of that. So that's... Four and seven is eleven. So that's the least amount of damage you can take is eleven, and you're at ten. What can you do? What can you do? What to do? Oh, he didn't even block everything. <laughs> really? That's the cat that can't be on protein. A non-protein diet. I have nothing that benefits from lifelink here. Yeah, I don't... Or, um... Not lifelink, landfall. So, yeah. That's what you can do with this. I know what I will name this. Alright. As always, thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and find me on Twitch, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday nights. Have a good one.